Hey, it's Steve. So last week I went to Chicago. And while I was there, I made it a point to make a pilgrimage to the Yvonne Reese tobacconist shop. Number 19 South Wabash Avenue. This is uh, America's oldest tobacco shop. Uh, been around since 1857. Had to go there and see it for myself. Great shop. Actually, when you get there, there's like a doorway in an office building, and you have to go in the doorway. Then you have to go to the elevator upstairs. The shop is on the second floor of kind of some kind of office type building. So, went up in the elevator and you enter the shop. Anyway, huge selection. Cigars, you can't believe the amount of cigars they have. Really great selection of pipes. And really probably the biggest selection I, you know, there is of tobaccos in a, in a brick and mortar shop. Most everything you can find online you can find in this place. Very large selection. Really well worth going there. If you're ever in Chicago and you're in the neighborhood, you've got to stop and see this place. So, since I was there, I figured I had to pick up some tobaccos and I want to show you what I got. So, to start, I opened the box already and I started smoking one of the tobaccos and I'm smoking my Stefano Sant'Ambrogio pipe, which is one of my favorites. I love it. Let's start off with this one. Sam Galwith Chocolate Flake. Now, contrary to the name, this is not a chocolate-flavored aromatic. It's a hard-pressed, dark Virginia flake with an essence of cocoa. So it's not sugary and sweet. It just has this little bit of a cocoa essence to it. It's really pretty good. I've, I'm just on my first bowl, so... But anyway, I like this one. Chocolate flake. I also got a couple tins of this. This is where everyone has to have this on hand. Or like Golden Sliced. It's one of the best tobaccos you can you can get and you have to always have it on hand. So I got two of them. Then I tried something else, which is, I think, really good, too. This is called McClellan's Stave Aged Virginia 35 Ribbon. This is uh, was made in commemoration of their 35th anniversary, and I think this was recommended uh, by Matches860. I think he talked about this in one of his videos, and I'm looking forward to that. I'm sure it'll be very good. This is something I've wanted to try, and it was funny, because when, when I walked in, the first thing the guy wanted to show me, the salesman, was this. Savinelli Brunello Flake. I don't really know, other than I think it's going to be good, Virginia Flake. I'll let you know later, but we'll give that one a try. On with my shopping experience. I decided to try some more of the J.F. Germain uh, British tobaccos. I've been smoking, as you might have known in some of my other videos, the Germain's Plum Cake, which is really good. Uh, so now I got this one as well. Actually, I've had this before. I, got, I must admit, this is the second tin I've had of this. This is called Germain's Uncle Tom's Smoking Mixture. It's like a very uh, fine shag cut Virginia with some very slight flavoring to it. It's really good. Uncle Tom, you should try it. And then this one. King Charles High Class Smoking Mixture. This is supposed to be sort of a light English, little Latakia. Should be really good. Uh, this one was featured in um, Bradley Stuff and Things review recently. You might have seen that. Should be good. I'll give that a try. And then another uh, new one that I want to try is this one. Astley's number 109. This is uh, also was uh, featured in a review recommended to me by Pipe Leisure out of the Massachusetts jurisdiction. And it's uh, sort of a mild to medium Virginia, and I'm looking forward to trying that. So you can see I went, I went on a kind of a shopping spree. Uh, luckily, I found two tins of one of my very favorite tobaccos, which they don't make anymore. So I added two tins to my collection. This has been out of production for several years. McBaron's HH Highland Blend. They still have one more tin of this. I didn't take, they had three. I took two. So if you want to try this and it's unavailable, you might call the shop in um, Chicago and, and buy that one. Um, speaking of that, before I show you the last couple items, uh, 
the guys told me that if you buy tobacco in Chicago, there's a 40% tax on tobacco, 40%. This place had very fair prices, let me mention this. Uh, Yvonne Reese in Chicago has very fair prices, like possibly like a dollar more than the biggest online vendors, maybe a dollar more per tin, so it's really reasonable. But 40% tax on top of that, which you don't want to pay. So I had them box up everything, I paid them, and they shipped it to me, so there was no tax to be paid, plus they shipped it for free. So that was good. Oh, uh, I guess I'm going to show you my last item now. Last but not least, I picked up something else that's very hard to find. Everyone's looking for it. It's almost like Penzance and Stonehaven. Uterra's Pelican. Also made by the J.F. Germain Company in the Isle of Jersey. So these are, uh, I guess you could almost call them collector's items. Everyone's after this stuff. And they have them, so I cook those. Anyway, that was my shopping spree in Chicago. Hope you enjoyed it. Just having a nice day here. Beautiful weather. 58 degrees, light breeze. Looking good. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.